Before using Aftax, the following four steps must be completed. Download the form you need and save it in a known location. Comply with the special notice. Log in to your Aftax account and allocate a credit. At the end of the tutorial, we will look at troubleshooting errors. Download the latest Aftax form to your computer, save it in a known location and open with a recent version of Adobe Reader. Then the following must be carried out before completing the Aftax form. If using a Mac, be careful not to open it in preview. You must comply with the special notice. The special notice will automatically be displayed when an FTAX form is first opened with Adobe Reader. It may also be accessed by clicking the question mark in the red ball and selecting the top option. The special notice has two parts. Firstly, select Adobe Reader, Preferences, JavaScript if using a Mac, or Edit, Preferences, JavaScript if you are using Windows. Make sure the top box, Enable Acrobat JavaScript, is ticked. The next two boxes are not ticked, and the bottom box is ticked. Secondly, select Security Enhanced and untick the Enable Enhanced Security box. It is advised that the setting is turned back on once you have completed and submitted your form. Now you must log in to your FTAX account. The FTAX account login pop-up should automatically be displayed when the Continue button is clicked twice on the special notice. If it is not displayed, click on the question mark in the red ball in the middle of the screen and choose the bottom option. Make sure the Do not log in to my FTAX account box is unticked and enter your FTAX account username and password before clicking Login. You are also advised to first tick the Save Login Details on Computer box so that you remain automatically logged in. Be careful not to confuse your HMRC user ID and password, which should be entered on the form, with your FTAX account username and password, which are entered into this pop-up. When you click Login, a new pop-up should confirm login success. The number of remaining credits should also be displayed towards the bottom left of the FTAX form. Next, you need to allocate a credit. When a new UTR is entered, a pop-up should prompt you to allocate a credit. Another pop-up will confirm when the credit has been allocated. At this point, a credit code will automatically be transferred, allowing the form to calculate and submit. If you enter a UTR that already has a credit allocated, then you'll be allowed to continue without allocating another credit. Please note that you must enter the name before the UTR. If you haven't already done so, then the cursor will automatically move to the name box. Okay. There are two main errors that you may come across while using FTAX. One error message you might get is a SOAP service is undefined message. Another is a communication problem. Both of these errors have a number of causes. Firstly, you should check your internet connection. You should then ensure that the Enhanced Security box is unticked, as discussed earlier in this video. The two error messages could also be due to your computer not trusting ftax.co.uk. To check this, go to Adobe Reader, Preferences Trust Manager on a Mac, or Edit Preferences Trust Manager on Windows. Click Change Settings and ensure that ftax.co.uk is trusted. The error messages may also appear when you are using an old version of Windows, namely XP or Vista, with the latest version of Adobe Reader. This is because Adobe no longer supports these older versions. 
If this happens, then either update Windows or install an older version of Adobe Reader by going to the Adobe website, finding Get Reader and selecting Other Languages and Versions. Finally, the error messages could be caused by your security software preventing the FTAX form from accessing the FTAX account. This can be overcome by either adjusting the security settings or by turning security off while using FTAX. You should ensure, however, that security is turned back on as soon as you have finished using FTAX. Another issue you may have is that when you enter a UTR, a pop-up may ask you for a four-digit credit code. This means that you are not currently logged in. The FTAX form will prompt you to log in, and when you do, you will be able to continue to enter the UTR. The login pop-up can be displayed at any time by clicking the question mark in the red ball on the opening page of the FTAX form and selecting the bottom option. And finally, just a quick reminder that while the Enable Enhanced Security box is unticked, you are advised not to open PDF attachments emailed from unknown addresses. You may wish to leave the Enable Enhanced Security box ticked when you are not using FTAX.